In this video, you will learn how to work with magnetic stripe encoder objects in Bartender. Magnetic stripe encoding requires cardstock with a magnetic stripe. Bartender works with printers that have a magnetic encoding module to encode magnetic stripe cardstock, along with printing text and data. It is important to note that a driver by Seagull is required to encode a magnetic stripe when using Bartender. Drivers by Seagull are available at www.seagullscientific.com forward slash drivers. Installing drivers by Seagull is easy and covered in another video. To get started, open a blank document template in Bartender. Go to the File menu and select Print to open the print dialog. In the Printer section of the Print tab, make sure that the correct magnetic stripe printer is selected before you get started. Bartender will know the different encoder capabilities of the printer, so the options Bartender presents you throughout the design process will be based on the printer's capabilities. Once you have selected the correct printer, close the print dialog. In the Object Toolbar, you will find the encoder object icon. It's at the end of the Objects Toolbar next to the Picture Object icon. You can also select Encoder from the Create menu. When you select the encoder object, a drop-down list opens that displays the various encoder options available to you, based on your printer. You can also select View All Supported Encoding Technologies to access the Bartender Help for more information about the different encoding technologies supported in Bartender. Select the magnetic stripe encoder type you wish to use, and the Magnetic Stripe Properties dialog will open. Remember you can use the Help button while working in Bartender to locate context-relevant information from the Bartender Help file. Select the track you wish to encode to and the encoding type. Now, to enter the data you want to encode on the magnetic stripe track, select the data source in the navigation pane. Here, you can enter your data in the embedded data field or change the data source type say to a database field, for example, if you need to use a different type of data source. You can find videos on data sources and connecting to a database at support.seagullscientific.com. On the template, a magnetic stripe encoder object will appear above the design area. Since the encoder object does not actually print on the document, it is not placed in the design area. Each encoder object may only be set to a single track. If you need to encode to multiple tracks on the magnetic stripe, then you will need to add multiple encoder objects to the document. Each encoder object must be set to a different track. In this example, three encoder objects are used. Each encoder object is set to one of the three available tracks on the magnetic stripe. To quickly recap, in this video, you learned how to work with magnetic stripe encoder objects. Selecting the correct printer before getting started allows Bartender to present you with the appropriate encoding options available to you in the design process. Selecting the encoder object from the drop-down menu in the Object Toolbar opens the Magnetic Stripe Properties dialog, where you can set the track and encoding type. Select the data source of the encoder object to add the data string. If you need to encode to multiple tracks of the magnetic stripe, you will need to place an additional encoder object for each track that you want to encode. For more information about working with Bartender Designer, you can check out support.seagullscientific.com. Thank you for watching.